Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pia Beats Beauty and today we're trying out Shane products. I don't know if you guys heard of Shane. It's an app. It's a place where you can buy online. If you haven't heard of it, you can just go to the app store or the play store and download the app or you can go online and check it out. Shane is not sponsoring this video, but it's okay. I wanted to review the products. Since I like to play with makeup and I like to experience with new products and try out different things, I really wanted to try something cheap in a way that we can all buy maybe their products. Maybe you have someone that you would like to gift this to or maybe you want to try out for yourself and you just are scared to buy things that maybe you're not going to like, which I totally get, but I got your back, honey. I'm going to try these products for you. I bought a few uh, things that for our daily makeup or if you want to give it out as a gift if it's a good and long-lasting wear if uh, if it's creamy if it's drying if anything like that this is was the first time buying this foundation now it says this ultra wear foundation so, and the color is warm brown 04 the bottle i believe this is 40 ml which is quite long lasting it's crystal it's like a uh, glass okay so don't drop this but it's a good size bottle so we're gonna try we're gonna place this let's see one pump wow one pump comes out a lot now so far it's laying in the face really nicely it has a bit of a shimmer to it but just a slight natural shimmer to it which i actually like coverage to this I really really like the fact that it covers like everything and if you blend it in nicely which you should do with all foundations you're going to get a very nice layer of foundation and as you can see I have a nice shimmer to my face but it is covering all the imperfections so that's really great so far, I don't see any creases, guys. I don't see much definition of the pore, which some foundations, as we all know, like really show your pore and it looks terrible. This is actually covering. I'm gonna move on to the concealer. I got the concealer. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna link everything down that I got so you can see prices. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to the concealer, which is the She Glam. That's what the brand is called from Shane. It's She Glam, the beauty brand. So it's a 12 hour full coverage concealer. This is in the color Tiramisu. So let's try it out. This is what the wand looks like. And we're gonna try this right under our eyes. We're gonna put a little bit right here. Let's see. This. Okay, guys. And we're gonna bring all this together so let's see so far guys i think um the concealer it is i'm um, doing as purpose at the end of the day and for the price i i'm honestly like i like it a lot um i could have gotten a bit of a lighter color i feel like it's very similar to my foundation so it's actually just like covering up like if it was just whatever the foundation didn't cover up this is so i really like that guys the concealer is really good it was very creamy very easy to put on but as i said a little lighter could have helped now we're gonna move on to the she glam perfect setting powder light and delicate i got this in the color 01 which is natural perfect setting powder and it's quite a big um, product, you know, little box. So it came with the little puffer thing, but I've taken it out. I am going to be using a normal brush to actually place this. So let's grab some product. Place it wherever we want to set, which would be under eyes normally. A lot of people get in the T-zone a little bit of shine. We want to set definitely our smile lines since at least if you're gonna be smiling like I am normally and constantly, <laughs> I wanna set that so it doesn't crease up. Okay, well, 
it's done its purpose as you can see it's taking a little bit out of my sh like my shine from the foundation and it's made it a little bit more natural but still nice and like glowy a healthy glow is there so i really like that this powder so far the yes moving on guys to the next product we have she glam waterproof waterproof eyebrow pencil and it has two sides to it it has this bully brush and an angle like tear tip so that's really great i really i've used this a lot it comes with all this product and actually even more because i've been using it since i gotten it like a month and a half ago so we're gonna fill in our brows and you're gonna see what's cracking like and if you like it this is number one in coffee so here we have the eyebrows guys i honestly i have used this before as i said and i honestly think it's a really great product this um waterproof eyebrow pencil because it does stay on be really easy to modify your eyebrow if you didn't like this you can just kind of raise it or just fully brush it out <laughs> that's what i do normally when i want like a natural look it just kind of like fully brush it you know until it kind of fades away right guys now that we have our eyebrows on fleek we're gonna move on to the <laughs> now i was worried if I should get this or not, but it's actually pretty cool. I got here in my hands, guys, the Wing It Waterproof Liner Duo. She Glam on black, the color black. And check this out, guys. This is a little stamp for those out there that have problems, which I think is all of us. I mean, I've only heard one YouTuber once that she loves doing eyeliner. I feel like we all struggle, at least me, like my eyeliner is bipolar or tripolar or quadripolar because honestly guys, like it depends how my mood is or it depends how I wake up. Some days I feel like I completely forgot to do a line and some days I feel like I'm, you know, I got that cat eyeliner and I'm popping, you know what I mean? So here we have the normal felted tip and in the other side we have the stamp. Let's see how this comes out because I've tried it a few times and I don't know why I keep pointing it way too high and it just looks like what? So we'll see what comes out. Let's try this out together. Okay. Shit, now I'm fucking it up. Though, look, as you can see, I've stamped it on and now, nice. Right guys, here's the eyeliner. Now I'm gonna be honest. I like the fact of the stamp. I think that's a really cool idea actually for just some days that you need to go quick and just go out and just stamp it on, fill it in, you know, it's actually really good. Now I must say that the, not the stamp, but the other part of the eyeliner, it's a little dry. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it more or something, but it feels kind of like out of product or that it's going to get out of product like soon. But I do, I, I mean, it's purpose. It does it. It's very nice and matte black, but it kind of feels... I have better eyeliners, I can say that much. I mean, it does its job. I think for the price, it's definitely worth it you could get other eyeliners for a lot more and they don't even have the stamp so honestly i just feel like this is like a good gift for someone that just struggles with their lines i like it not my extra favorite but i definitely think it serves its purpose and it's it's just a good little gift you know what i mean <laughs> we're gonna move on to miss lashes here I got three pairs of lashes. They're called Magic Long Lasting 24 Hour Lashes. I have to add, I mean, they weren't expensive at all. Again, I'll put the prices. I don't know them right now, but you'll see them on screen. And yeah, I must say with regards to these lashes, as cute and beautiful and, uh, um, you know, cute that they are, they didn't come with glue. So if you're expecting to get the glue on the lashes, you're not, okay? I'm just letting you know. So you're not expecting some glue. Get some different glue somewhere else. 
let's try these puppies on. I didn't buy mascara from She Glam, so I don't know how their mascara is, but I would kind of like to try one, you know? I, I swear to God, if you can tell me or recommend me uh, a type of mascara that's like really super amazing, crazy good, I would totally appreciate that. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, give them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you're liking this video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more reviews, not only on Shane's. We'll be doing probably like a review of um, clothing probably soon. If you've never put eyelashes on, remember to let the glue fully dry into from white to blue. Once it goes blue, you can place it on and yeah, pray for the best. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, what I like to do to eyelashes as well, this actually, James Charles taught me this, that you wanna move it around like I just did, like this. Let me get closer. To kind of make it as your eye, you know, the shape of your eye, which is, yeah, it's a lot more helpful. Now, I normally look down and you go over. I'm not even scared of eyelashes anymore. Like, I used to be so scared to place them and fuck it up, but once you get used to it, you just do it. And I don't even wear lashes that much anymore. Like, anymore, no. I, I just don't wear them that much. Have my other lash here. We're gonna place the glue. So far, what are you thinking of this lash? Looks pretty natural and good, right? I mean, for the price, guys. You know, normally you look for lashes and they're so expensive, mainly the, like, good ones that you'll see, mainly the famous ones that everyone wears, like, all of those can cost up to like 40 euros, you know? But it's all good. I can't wait to use um, and try the Glammetics. What do you guys think about those? Have you tried them on? And do they actually work? Because I would love to just pop on that eyeliner, just pop them on, you know? Yeah, so far I see them pretty good. I'm gonna fix this with, um, I'm just gonna like draw a little bit over the black I'm gonna use. Expert Creamy Eyeliner. This is an eyeliner that is featured in every single one of my YouTube ads. When I watch YouTube, every YouTube ad has this Expert Creamy Eyeliner. Look guys, <laughs> I literally picked it up because obviously of all the ads, but honestly it just said it was like number one best chosen by influencers, this and that. I was like, you know what, let's try this because I, I want to say something. When, when I put eyeliner on my waterline, it stays there, but it also comes all the way down. Like it just smudges and it like leaks and it goes everywhere, guys. So honestly, I wanted to try this and see what the fuss was all about. This is the actual pen, as you can see. And this, as I said, it was in the color black. I believe it was only brown and black that was available. Look, in my hand, very creamy, very black. I like that. I'm gonna try and fill in any places that that my eyelash could be coming off or it could be noticeable. Right guys, what I'm gonna try and do is see if it goes well in the underneath part. Okay guys, I must say so far for the waterline is taking a lot for it to stick. I don't know if it's my eyes in my eyes. I mean, they're not watery or anything, you know, but I'm like having to pull my skin down, which is not very good. I mean, it does the job, okay, guys? You can see it does the job, but I would, I mean, I would recommend this, honestly. I mean, look at my hand and my hand is so good and I'm cleaning this and it's not smudging, okay. If I do it really, really hard, it will come off a little bit, but like that was really, really hard. I mean, look, for my opinion here, this pen goes well for the top part. I think you could do your top liner really nicely with this. Even like, I don't know, draw something. But as a waterline um, pen, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it as much. I feel like I've tried better ones and you know, they worked out better than this. Like it's stuck a lot better. We're gonna move on to lips, guys. Uh, this is, this would be the last part because I haven't gotten any blush. 
uh, from there, so I wouldn't know, nor, nor highlighter. But what I did get was three different types of lipsticks. This is a She Glam Liquid Matte Lip Glaze. It's like a pinkish color. This is a number one milk tea. And this is what it looks like. This is the one, it's a little like that, so you can, it's actually pretty good. Then I have a velvet lipstick, which is in the color cinnamon, and it's 202, and it comes in this container. Then you open it up, and this is the lipstick, which I believe the color is very neutral, very beautiful, it can go with anything. And it has magnet, which I love because honestly, I take my lipsticks everywhere uh, in my bag, and sometimes they open up and they fucking get broken and stuff so yeah then i have a matte lipstick she glam ladies night 660 which is actually just a little bit smaller than the other one well just the the case and this color is just a beautiful cherry dark red even just beautiful color i love it so much and this one doesn't have the metal but you know, it has little things on the sides that does keep your, your cap close, which is great. We're gonna start with the liquid lipstick. As you can see, in, it is a liquid matte lip glaze. Now it glazes through just as it describes. It's very, as you can see, it was a little bit wetter and it's kind of drying out to matte. I really like this. It's not drying at all. I don't feel like my lips are dry whatsoever. I feel like it's drying down as a, a pigment and as a color, but it's not drying my lips out, which I think is really nice. Let's see, let's do the, the kiss test. Let's just wait until it dries completely. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> and we're gonna try it out. This is what is left in my hand, not a lot, and I kissed it pretty well. <laughs> right guys, now that we have the um, lips, nude lips, and with nothing, we're gonna try cinnamon color so you can see it on its own. Now as you can see, it's very, it glides through, it doesn't stick. Very beautiful color, I love this color. And the good thing is, it's neutral and it goes with everything. It's more like a creamy formula, so it's not gonna, like, it's obviously gonna come through if I kiss my hand, which we'll definitely do. As you can see, it definitely comes out, but it stays, like, nicely through your lips, and I feel like it's just a very beautiful, beautiful color to wear when you... I don't know when you just want to be a little bit more neutral, you know? Guys, last but not least, we're going to try the last color in this whole um, Shane haul, She Glam haul. We're going to try the color of a ladies' night, which I think, again, it's a beautiful, beautiful cherry red. Like a nighttime color, like ladies' night, definitely. <laughs> well, here you have it, guys. As well, this lipstick glides through. It's a, a velvet lipstick. Mm, feels very velvety. <laughs> what can I say? And it's a beautiful, great cherry color, which I totally love. I feel like go it goes with everything. Look at me now. I'm wearing like a nude uh, brownish kind of turtleneck. There you go. And some earrings. I don't know. It just picks up the whole look. I feel like it just brings it up, elevates it a little bit more. And I think it looks just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I hope you like this video. Honestly, I love reviewing everything. I actually like most of the products. I mean, except for the for the creamy eyeliner. That was like my one little thing. But honestly, everything else was amazing. I got some skincare and stuff. We're gonna try in another video from Sheen and I'll let you know if they're actually good and you know, maybe if they're worth it, honestly, because you know, sometimes when you go shopping, like Wish, you know, you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna get this for so cheap and then you get really, really bad quality. Instead, Sheen has proven themselves that they actually, they're affordable, but they're actually good products and good quality, I feel. And honestly, look at this 
foundation so far honestly so far Shein has not disappointed it's a really good brand so far I'm wearing it in my face nothing itches nothing hurts the eyelashes look pretty natural the the eyeliner on top was pretty bomb diggity by stamping that on and it was quite quick you know if you want to let me know for another brand that you would like to try let me know down in the comments and please again subscribe to my channel come to the family see you in the next one and i love you she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her